We know that angles can be measured in two ways, degrees and radians. Let's understand degrees first. Angles are simply a union of two rays. Let this be one ray. There are two special kinds of angles which are used very often. One angle looks like this and it's called a right angle. It measures 90 degrees. This small circle after the number is used to denote degrees. And do not confuse this degrees with the degrees we use to measure temperature. They are two different things. And the second special angle is the angle which forms a straight line and is called a straight angle. And the measure of this angle is 180 degrees. And when this arm will rotate and overlap the initial arm, it is called one full rotation, which equals 180 plus 180, 360 degrees. This brings us to the question, why 360 degrees? Why not 1000 degrees? Because 1000 sounds very convenient to me. Why can't one full rotation be 1000 degrees? Well, think about it. I will probably be making another video to explain this. How do we measure or draw angles in our notebook? We use something called a protractor and it looks something like this. The numbers you see on the protractor are degrees. First, let's see how we can measure angles using a protractor. Let's say we want to measure this angle. To measure an angle, there are only two things we need to do. We need to keep this arm of the angle at the zero angle position and the vertex of the angle at the center of the protractor. Normally, we take the protractor to the angle, but in this video, I will be taking the angle to the protractor. Like this. Now we are in a position to measure the angle. This arm will be like our initial arm, which is the zero angle, and this arm will be the terminal arm, which tells us the angle measure. We can see that it measures slightly more than 50 degrees, somewhere close to 53 degrees. That's how simple it is to measure an angle with a protractor. But wait, look at it very closely. It has two sets of angles marked. The inner semicircle goes from 0 to 180 this way, and the outer semicircle goes from 0 to 180 degrees this way. But this time, we use the inner circle to measure the angle. Why? Think about it. It's a bit intuitive. Of course, this angle is not 130 degrees. This angle is acute. And hence, we chose the inner semicircle and got the measure somewhere close to 53 degrees. But then why do we need the other set of angles? Let's draw another angle like this. How do we measure this angle? We use the same procedure. We keep the vertex of the angle on the center of the protractor and this arm on the zero angle. So we place it like this. Look at the angle. It's acute. It's not anywhere close to 130 degrees. So this time we use the outer semicircle. The zero angle starts here and we get the measure as 53 degrees. If we had just one set of angles, it would have been very difficult to measure this angle. We would have had to tilt the protractor a bit. So yes, we are given these two sets of angles primarily for convenience. <laughs>